if you walk into a room and immediately you feel insecure and you feel like everybody is staring at you and you look silly versus when you walk into a room and you're the most confident person, you know, if people are staring at you, they want to talk to you, they're attracted to you, you immediately become more magnetic from exuding that type of energy and confidence. If you want to be the most attractive and irresistible woman in the room, it does not just translate from external looks. We've all met people who are very attractive, but they have no charisma. They are not magnetic people. And we've also met people who are average that are super magnetic, irresistible, and people just seem super drawn to them. All humans are magnetic. We all have energies around us. Because we are magnetic beings, we attract exactly who we are. We attract what we feel in the inside. You can attract people, opportunities, money, happiness, or you can repel them. When you become a magnetic woman, you have a high vibration. People look up to you. You are irresistible. You will start to repel low value men, low energy men, situations that are just negative, and women who have no self-worth. So if you apply all of these eight habits that I'm going to list in this video, there is no reason why you shouldn't become a more magnetic person. Because this is not something that people are born with. This is something that you learn throughout time. Use your magnetic energy to attract the right people, happiness, money, and positive circumstances. Hello, I'm Raina and I create content inspiring you to glow up and to become the best version of yourself. If you enjoyed this video, I have an entire playlist dedicated to helping you and giving you advice on how to become the best version of yourself. And all of this is advice I wish I knew years ago. So check out this playlist after this video if you're interested. So a magnetic energy is something that draws people in. People are staring at you. People immediately want to talk to you. You have an aura that's welcoming. You walk into a room and it just exudes this light and people are drawn to you like like a moth to a flame. To have a magnetic energy basically means you have almost lucky girl syndrome because to have people drawn to you and positive circumstances drawn to you as well, you just have a luckiness about you. We have all met people who are extremely attractive, but for some reason people don't really approach them, talk to them, or people just don't have a good time with them typically. But we've also met people who are average and people are obsessed with them. They're irresistible. There are a lot of celebrities that would be considered average, but for some reason, they have a charisma about them and they have an energy about them that people just cannot get enough of. This is called having magnetic energy. It's not their looks, it's their inner being. You are exuding energy at all times, so people are either drawn to it or repulsed by it. There are certain vibrations that are more attractive than others. If you are constantly angry, jealous, negative, and just an unhappy person in general, as soon as you walk into a room, people are gonna feel that. You don't necessarily have to say anything. You don't necessarily have to have conversations with people people will just feel that energy and we have all experienced that from somebody. If you're not aware of the energy that you exude, you're not going to be able to change it. It's so important to know whether or not you have a magneticism about you already, whether you're in the right direction from being a closed off person, angry person, to being a more friendly, open, open body language type of person, easy to approach. People look up to you. People always ask you for advice because they feel like you have some type of insight or some type of knowledge about you. It is 100% normal for all humans to have negative emotions. It's normal to feel angry, jealous, upset sometimes. But there is a difference in energy when you wallow in those emotions, when you are taking out all of these negative emotions on other people versus when you're just going through a rough time. To shift your energy to become more magnetic, you have to accept these energies. You have to treat them with love and care. You shouldn't treat them with disdain and you shouldn't be angry at yourself for feeling this way. We all go through rough patches. Accepting that these are human emotions but you're not going to let them affect your daily life. You're not going to let them affect your opportunities. Whatever is unlovable about yourself, you need to train yourself to love it, to accept it. This is what you need to do to align with yourself spiritually and to raise your vibration. Let's say that your energy is more insecure. You talk down on yourself. You're not that confident, you will notice that the people that you attract in person are more insecure people. They maybe talk down on you. They talk bad about others. If you're an angry person or you're a kind of toxic person, you will notice you attract a lot of toxic relationships. You attract people that you constantly want to save and help, which can be toxic in its own way. You attract your inner world. If you're somebody who puts yourself first, you're very healthy, confident, you're not afraid of trying new things, people will feel that energy 
energy exude from you. That is what makes you magnetic. I used to be somebody who was very insecure. I was scared to put myself out there. I was scared to wear certain outfits, my hair in a certain way because I just felt like I just could not get a lot of attention doing that. I wouldn't want the attention. I felt too shy about it. I was also somebody who was very scared to display my emotions. So in turn, I started attracting people who were emotionally unavailable. I started attracting insecure people. I started attracting people who didn't want the best for me because they didn't want the best for themselves. And as soon as I noticed that that was the energy I was exuding and I worked on shifting my inner world, shifting my own energy, I started attracting people who were so different. People who are more positive, confident, going for their passion. Because when you are around somebody who does their passion for a living or who chases their passion without caring, there is a different type of energy they exude. When you're around somebody who puts themselves in uncomfortable situations, who travels a lot, who's not afraid of standing out. They have a certain energy about them that they exude that people look up to. Let's talk about body language and eye contact. Your body language has hand movements. You have good eye contact with people. You're not staring too long, but you're staring in a very engaging and soft way. You're smiling while you speak, and you're smiling not only with your mouth, but with your eyes as well. One of the biggest ways you can tell people are not really interested in the conversation you're having with them is when they're smiling only with their mouth and not with their eyes. When people are smiling genuinely, their eyes will crease. When you have good body language, this means that your arms are not crossed, so don't stand at the corner of the room like this if you wanna be a magnetic person. Face the person that you're speaking to with your body. If you're going somewhere and you're speaking to somebody, don't face this way if they're right in front of you. This is giving them that you're closed off and you're uninterested. Always have a really good, strong handshake whenever you are meeting people. Sitting up straight and having good posture is a very attractive thing. It makes people feel like you're a very respectable person. When you have a good body language and eye contact with people, they think of you in a more positive light. They think of you as respectable. They think of you as somebody that they can look up to. You can exude a passionate energy around you without even saying a word as well. Just through body language, you could do this. When you have more passionate energy, people are more engaged and they wanna hear what you have to say. When you have a more confident and open body language, people want to hear what you have to say. They feel like you're there to listen and you're genuinely interested in them. This is one of the biggest components for being a very charismatic, attractive person. Whenever I started going to networking events, this is when I seriously realized who is the most magnetic person in the room. When you walk into a room immediately, especially in networking events or events with hobbies, anything like that, you notice who is the person people are most drawn to and it's usually the most confident person in the room. It's usually the person that's very charismatic who's great at conversations. And this is because people like to be seen and heard. When you can have a conversation with people and say their names and remember their names and remember little details, they look up to you. Even when I think of the people that I've met in networking events that have made a lasting impression with me, these are always people that have noticed the little things that I said and who gave me a lot of great tips and advice who are very engaging and who are very attractive as well. If you're constantly on your phone when you're speaking to people or in public, this is not a good sign. You need to be present and in the moment. People look up to people who are engaging, who are active listeners, who are genuinely interested in what they have to say. It is so important to make sure you're a knowledgeable woman, making sure that you're reading books, listening to podcasts, you're staying updated with the latest news, you're watching informative YouTube videos to be well-versed in various conversations. This is so important. Nobody wants to be around people who have very limited knowledge on topics. It is very difficult to talk to these people and it's difficult to have a magnetic personality if you don't know a little bit of everything. You don't have to be an expert at everything, but it is important to have a good vocabulary and to have a little bit of knowledge in every area of life. It's super important to let people speak. Never interrupt people. If you really do have to say something in the middle of their conversation, say, excuse me. Say, sorry to cut you off. Smile and use soft hand gestures. Always ask open-ended questions. You're not gonna know everything about every single topic, but you can ask questions 
questions that are more engaging. My favorite way to make sure that I know a little bit about everything is this one podcast, Stuff You Need to Know. I love that podcast. I'm gonna list it down below. But it's super important to make sure as a woman you leave a really good first impression because your first impression is usually a very long lasting impression. Practice reflective listening and summarizing what the other person said. If you genuinely don't understand what they're saying or you wanna know more about it, a really good tip is to just summarize exactly what they said back to them and ask them, oh, why did you say? And then reflect what they just said to you. What made you think of reflect what they just said to you back to them? This is a great way to be engaging without knowing every single thing that they're talking about. Be very careful of who you choose to be in your social circle. And if you have very negative people around you, this is going to affect you and your inner world. If you're around people who are always talking super negatively about themselves and about others, this is really not a great thing for your own inner world. Having negative friends, toxic people, all these things around you will really bring you down. Being a magnet means that you are attracting exactly what you are. And even if you are not initially attracting these people, but you're in proximity, you're always around these people, they're gonna eventually rub off on you. Because what tends to happen is the person who has a stronger personality is the one who influences people the most. So if the person around you has a stronger personality and they're a negative person, they're going to influence you to become a more negative person yourself. So it is super important to choose friends wisely and to choose partners and people around you wisely. And this does mean that you have to be savage. You cannot hang out around everyone, especially if you wanna be a more magnetic person. You need to hang around people who inspire you, people who have high energy, people who have energy that you wanna exude yourself, people you are always learning from. I am always looking up to and initially drawn to people who are a wealth of knowledge, who take care of themselves physically and mentally who are very engaging and charismatic and to be that way they have to surround themselves with people who are similar to that be careful of what you consume as well if you are consuming very negative music negative content online content of people hating or drama all the time you are turning into that person and if you think that you're gonna walk into a room and people aren't gonna notice that vibe off of you you are totally wrong the company you keep affects your magneticism one of the biggest ways that I started turning into a more magnetic person is by going to networking events and by going to events with hobbies. I use meetup.com and when I tell you guys, I did not notice what was lacking in my skills when it came to body language, eye contact, until I started going to networking events. Because you're around all these people who are like experts at knowing all the right people, saying the right things at the right time, knowing the exact questions to ask. Me constantly exposing myself around these people, they rubbed off on me. I started acting similarly. I started maintaining better eye contact. I started having better body language and hand gestures. I started asking the right questions. But I would have never turned into that person if I didn't get out of my comfort zone and put myself in that uncomfortable situation. I started doing new hobbies out of nowhere. I started doing a pottery class and an art class. I always loved painting as a kid. So I started to pick it up again. And like I said, you immediately notice who is the most magnetic person Person because they are so charismatic and they're so charismatic because of their inner world. They're charismatic because of what they surround themselves with. Picking up new hobbies plays such a big role on how magnetic you are. Because when you're magnetic, you're an interesting person. Why would somebody be interesting when they have no hobbies, no skills? You can pick up a new hobby and a new skill at any age. You also don't have to have a super expensive hobby to be an interesting person. Breaking out of your comfort zone and doing new things will make you a very attractive attractive and irresistible person. The people who have left the most lasting impression on me are always people who are super well-traveled or people who have very interesting hobbies. When I moved to San Diego, I noticed so many people here have so many unique and interesting hobbies that it made me feel like, oh my gosh, like I literally have never heard of people doing any of this stuff. And it inspired me to pick up some new hobbies of my own, like pottery. Having new hobbies and picking up new skill sets exposes you to various different cultures different ways of thinking and it makes you a more open-minded person everybody finds the person who is open-minded as more magnetic you are a more interesting person when you are this way if you really want people to be obsessed with you you have to have something about you that would make people obsessed and you're not gonna have people obsessed with you if you have no hobbies no skills and no charisma making sure you put yourself out there to pick up new 
new hobbies and skills will also expand your networking circle and you will finally meet people who are aligned with your energy and you will meet people who can help to shift your energy to be more positive to be more passionate to be more fun because why wouldn't you want to be around people who make you a better version of yourself surround yourself with people that you want to be like surround yourself by people who have talent and people who have passion these are literally the best people if you had a passion when you were a child think about picking it up now that you're older your passions make you a more interesting person automatically you need to make time every single week to do your passion you make time every single week to go to the bar to call your friends on the phone to go to work so you also need to make passions for a hobby pick up a pottery class pick up pickleball pick up tennis I don't care what you do pick up a new hobby because I swear you will become a more magnetic person having a signature style and look will definitely make you stand out from the crowd if you want to be somebody that people are obsessed with you have to have a signature style I always say to stay ready so you don't have to get ready this doesn't mean that you have to do the full 180 as soon as you wake up and look like a completely different person but you want to make sure that you stay ready and the best way to do this is to have a consistent weekly routine for maintenance you want to have an everything shower routine you want to have a shaving day routine a hair day and you also want to have a skincare routine every single day at the same time put yourself on a schedule enhance your style and enhance your appearance having really good makeup and knowing good makeup tricks will really help you become an irresistible person know where and how to apply your blush according to your face shape know how to apply your lip gloss know what lip colors fit your face and fit your skin tone there are so many really good makeup tips and tricks on YouTube and I could also make a separate video letting you guys know how I enhance my features and how you can enhance your own features statement jewelry and outfits is just such a really good way to garner a lot of attention I am somebody who loves bold colors I'm not wearing any bold colors today but in a lot of my videos I wear bold colors when I go to events I love wearing bold colors it's just my personality and I get a lot of attention because of it wearing really cute jewelry having statement jewelry pieces having jewelry you wear every single day I definitely remember some girls from networking events where I noticed their outfits look so much different from other girls and I'm just initially drawn to them by not even speaking to them by just seeing them they're just so magnetic because of their outfit because the energy that you exude that day is what is gonna help you pick your outfit I promise you guys if you are in a bad mood or a low energy mood you're automatically gonna pick an outfit that makes you look like you're hiding that makes you look like you don't want to be seen versus when you're in a more bubbly happy mood you're gonna pick an outfit that's more out there that garners more attention listen to me when I tell you this because the next time you pick an outfit you're gonna think of what I said outfits can also change your mood let's say that you're in a more low energy mood and you pick an outfit that is more bubbly and bold it's gonna change your mood first impressions really matter and the first thing that people see when they're trying to figure out whether or not you're magnetic is by looking at your outfit by looking at your makeup and then once they approach you then you start having conversations with them and they will really see if you're magnetic but it starts with your exterior it starts with your appearance you do not need other people to validate you when you are insecure and desperate this is an immediate repellent that people feel from you I can always feel who is a desperate person you exude a type of energy that people don't want to be around if you're seeking outside validation you cannot be a magnetic person being a magnetic person puts you in a power position people look up to you people want to hear what you have to say about things people want your advice people want to see what you're doing and to be that type of person you have to be confident you have to be unbothered you can't care about what other people say if you have a hard time being confident and you have a fear of being seen you definitely need to watch my video that I will put right here about how to get over your fear of being seen because this is such a big reason as to why people are not magnetic you cannot be a magnetic person if you're scared of what people will say about you if you're scared to put yourself out there when you only seek self-validation and you don't care what people think you don't care whether or not people like you you don't care whether or not you're accepted somewhere people will have more respect for you people may not like you but they will have respect for you and that's more important because this video is not about oh how to have everybody like me it's about how do I attract the best people around me because at the end of the day not everyone is gonna like me and that is not my problem that is not what magneticism is if anything it's about repelling more people because people will be intimidated by you people will feel like they're not their best versions of themselves around you 
because you are reflecting what they wish they could be. And start sticking post-it notes around your room or around your mirror with positive affirmations. Start to journal the type of woman that you wanna become. I remember when I used to be somebody who used to seek more external validation, when I used to be more shy, when I used to feel like, oh my gosh, I have to see whether or not this person would like this before I knew I would like this. I was just a more insecure person and I did not attract all the things I wanted to attract. I was repellent to money, happiness, and opportunities. But as soon as I just stopped giving an F and I was just like, I don't care. I only care about whether or not something is positive towards me. I started attracting everything like I literally had lucky girl syndrome. I don't care who you are. If you do not have gratitude, if you're not genuine, and if you're not an honest person, you cannot be magnetic. People can immediately feel whether or not you're a genuine and honest person. If you are a liar and you constantly have ill intentions with other people, you don't think people will feel that? If you are not grateful and show gratitude towards your life and the little things, having water, having shelter, having food in the kitchen, you are automatically going to have a more fake energy about you. Everybody loves people who are genuine, people who are grateful, people who give back, and people who aren't doing things to get something in return, but doing things from the kindness of their hearts. It's so important to have a gratitude journal. I shift my focus from focusing on the negative things that happen to me to focusing on the more positive things that happen to me. Yes, negative things happen all the time and I can't get rid of them, but I can change my perspective of the negative thing that happened. When something happens in the past, you can't change it. The past is gone forever. So what are you going to do? Wallow in the past? You can't. You could be upset about it. You could be like, oh man, I'm sad that happened. Oh, I'm grieving. I'm really upset about that. But be present with that feeling. Know that this is what it takes to be a human being. These are all lessons that we have to learn. Are you going to be angry about the lesson or are you going to accept the lesson? Let yourself go through the motions, but journal about it. Don't take it out on other people. Life is not all about positivity. There are ups and downs, but it's about how you approach the situation and your perspective on the situation. There is so much to be grateful for. You are breathing right now. You have friends, you have family that care about you and people can feel that gratitude from you. People can feel whether or not you're a genuine person. So it is so important to reflect and appreciate every single aspect of your life because this just makes you a more magnetic and loving person to have an exude loving energy is to be a magnetic woman. But like I said before, you can't be a magnetic person unless you also work on your physical glow up because your magneticism and your energy matters, but your physical glow up matters as well. So make sure you check out my playlist on advice and glow up tips because I will have so many glow up tips that you need in your life. You can have magnetic energy, but you also need to know how to become your own dream woman. You also need to know how to look pretty and polished. So check out my video for all those tips and tricks. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.